I enjoy it actually. I don't mind a little bit of sweat because I know in six months, where are we going to be? It's going to be really cold. Splash pads are full in Montreal as the city is under a heat warning with temperatures feeling like 40 with the Humidex. This as the entire planet sweltered Monday and Tuesday, setting global records for the two unofficial hottest days in human record keeping on the planet, according to University of Maine scientists. Global temperature is hard to move, right? Because you've got to average out every single temperature across every weather location that we have uh, across the world. So when we are talking about hitting 17, over the 17 degree mark globally, it's massive. It surpasses the old record that was set back in 2016. And it's concerning when we start breaking records that have all been set in the 2000s. The Climate Reanalyzer project found for two straight days, the global average temperature spiked into uncharted territory. It reached 17.01 degrees Celsius, surpassing the August 2016 record of 16.92. This thanks to a number of heat waves like Montreal is seeing, creating heat domes. Uh, even across parts of the Antarctic right now, right, which are in winter, uh, should be negative temperatures, they're breaking all-time July daytime high warm records by hitting, you know, 8.5, 8.7 degrees. Like 9 degrees in the Antarctic in the middle of their winter is super warm. Just Tuesday, Montreal saw a massive downpour of rain. When there is rain, it's really not pleasant. We can't go outside, so we're inside. So Jimmy Ma's day camp, along with many others, were out and about Wednesday. We come for one hour and then we go back because otherwise being outside for too long is not good for the kids when it's hot like this. He's panting quite a bit, but he was still keen to go to the dog run despite the heat. It's like the, the cold in the winter. It can't stop you doing their normal things. It just slows you down a little bit. I take it in stride. Uh, I'm feeling fine. Uh, wear a hat, try and stay indoors. Uh, we're just on our way actually to go somewhere indoors. We might see an uptick in people who are elderly or younger people coming in due to heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Um, because they are more susceptible. We really need to take precautions to make sure that they're safe, um, that they have access to cool interior spaces, so malls, public libraries, museums. As the city will only get relief by end of week. Friday, as long as you wake up and you notice that wind is coming from the northwest, you'll know the cold front has gone through. There's going to be much less humidity. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.